at your service. Okay, so I thought I'd make a quick video just to show you in a bit more detail the arms, uh, the robotic arms for the Project Jarvis. Um, so the first one that I made is this very basic one here. Just to double check that the joint system would work uh, on the end of this, I did two versions of the little finger gripping arms on the end. This one's got four flat end pincers and then the other version has uh, three sharp pointed ones. Uh, these are all also on joints so that you can move them all about. Uh, so that was the first one. <coughs> and then the the one that closely resembles what the final one, one will look like. I have made some small slight changes to the design to make it look a little bit more uh, better. This is basically what the end one's going to look like though more or less. Um, a couple of little changes were made to this, little tweaks, mainly on this middle part here, making adjustments f so the piston at the top would move. So I did a couple of different ones of that to um, till I got it exactly how I wanted it. Um, so the piston there works perfectly fine. All the joints have got plenty of movement, so I'll have a lot of options when it comes to positioning stuff once it's all been uh, put together. The joints themselves just clip into place, like so, and they will fully manoeuvre about without falling apart, without the little nuts and screw things that I've made for it, but these will also be put in there once it's finished, so they'll go inside the little hole cutouts that you can see there, uh, just to tidy it up and make it look a little bit better. So. They're just rough prints I, did, I, did, I pretty much did them on the fastest uh, setting I could do because it's just to test out the actual physics of it and uh, a rough idea for the look so they didn't need to look so brilliant so they're a bit rough these prints uh, the final one will obviously have a lot more care and attention put into it um, so hopefully this video has been helpful in showing you what the um, arms are going to look like when they're finished and there's the little hand for the end of this one. That will be slightly bigger, it's slightly wrong scale, but it gives you a good idea anyway, hopefully. So uh, thanks for watching this video and hopefully you're following the build logs. If you've got any questions, please just comment on wherever you're seeing this video, whether it's YouTube or uh, Facebook or the build logs, and I'll see you in the next update.